everybody this is Shirley Joss welcome to my channel and welcome back if you are an old member or subscriber I am so sorry that I have only been able to do a video today I've been in a rut I think that's what it is there's been some changes going on in my life so well I thought I'd start coming back slowly with my planners um, today I'm just going to talk about luxury planning on a budget I mean these planners I have are not really that expensive but you can have luxurious planning if you want according to your taste according to your preferences I will not do any flip throughs I just want to talk about what planners have been like for me in my life when I was younger and uh, just beginning to work I only had the one planner it wasn't a planner back then it was called an organizer and it only had the basic stuff like the calendar some empty pages and and that's about it so that's what I used to keep track of my schedules but now that I'm a lot older and I've been through you know the stages of life up to now I have found that planners have been my go-to in um, all my seasons in my life all the seasons in my life anyway so for me it's quite an outlet for being creative I mean I could just have a plain planner with just a calendar and a few pages if it was you know my choice for everybody with all sorts of tastes lives and backgrounds you can use planners for anything and everything really it, it's not just for planning or tracking you know it's it, it depends on what kind of lifestyle you have for me my favorite planners have always been philofax so i've i've had several Philofaxes. If you haven't been um, seen my videos, I have shown most of my planners now. These are just some of my favorite ones. The rest I have put into retirement because they're old and they're not really for sturdy use or for some kind of wear and tear kind of use. You know, if you use it every day, you need something like luxurious leather. For example, these are buffalo leather and uh, they can stand the test of time this one I've had for probably almost five years give or take and this one I bought in 2022 I think it's the beginning of 2022 so I mean they have lasted these ones are recent these are the lower end if you don't really like to spend too much money if you're testing out planners and you're not quite sure what you prefer these are the go-to because they can also be used as travelers notebooks the way you want to use them and they are not in the higher bracket of pricing but um, these leather ones of course they will be expensive however I got this for a bargain in TK Maxx so I mean uh, you know sometimes I just um, find out or find have I have some wonderful finds for these planners so you know if you have any questions put any put any questions or comments in the comment section and then we can go from there but uh, for me I have used these planners for different purposes this one right now is my the newest planner I have bought it's called an aqua philofax lockwood and it has the logo there I've, I've done an unboxing for this one it has a zipper here which you can use for maybe documents that you want to keep safe and it has a pocket here but this is my faith or prayer planner as you can see I have the cross there and uh, this used to be my daisy planner which is my prayer planner scripture planner teachings planner I do all sorts of notes in here I mean I have the read the Bible through in a year I have some goals I've got some notes from previous teachings I haven't really written too much here lately 
but I have refurbished it. I have changed the look. Seeing as this is a new planner, I have always kept Parker Jotter pen for every final fax planner just because they fit. This one, of course, fits any. This pen loop, I mean, can fit any pen because it is elasticated. But most of the planners I have have very small, slim line pen loops. So this is my faith scripture prayer journal and I have pretty much a basic same kind of decoration on it. So I mean you could do you could use it as a planner this way. Your planner I mean you can use it this way as a faith planner. Okay, so for this one I've just used it for any kind of doodling really. Any kind and I've decorated it with some nice bookmarks and ribbons and these dividers I have stickers there I have my contact details there but these this is just for notes I put journals here a journal whatever I want to write this planner is for that because this is a 2023 calendar I thought I will just use it for whatever I want this is a note section I've decorated it with vellum so I mean you can have like luxury planning any way you want like I I do and I have decorated this myself and of course I always match my pens with my planners <laughs> that's my Thing. that's the thing about me I like to match things as much as I could so yeah this is the lower end in price you can experiment on this this is a Philofax soft domino in soft pink I think or pale pink I'm not sure either way you see so that has um, purpose in its own this is my finance planner Anything I have regarding finance or any transactions, any correspondence, business-wise, I take notes in here. I, this is my macaroon planner. I've shown this before, so I mean, this is not new to a lot of you. But I will not do a flip through because this is not the topic I'm talking about here. It's about luxury planning. This is my supplementary planner. As uh, If you're an old one, you know about that. This is my lilac pocket size in soft domino vital facts. And that's the decoration. It's got the butterflies there. This was what I called my butterfly planner. It's got a calendar duplicate of my main planner, which is this one. So this, if I have a smaller bag and I don't really want to carry heavy stuff, I put this in my bag when I'm out for the day or doing whatever. And of course, my main planner, which is my rose planner slash floral planner. So this is what I go to mainly because it's got everything in it. This is a Philofax sticky note pad. So you can do whatever you want with your planners. You can decorate them like you want. I have a Philofax Oli Clip right there so I can have an extra pen and it holds the magnet on my paper clip there. So my extra pen is here because I sometimes color code or sometimes if I just want a colored pen, ink, I use the BIC four in one, four colors in one. And of course my matching Parker pen. So this, I mean, these are my most favorite planners. These, these are the Philofax Maldens. This is in Fuchsia and this is in Iris. So really, you can start from wherever point you want. If you want, you're experimenting and you just want to find out what kind of planning you want. You can start on these cheaper ones. There's a lot of cheaper Philofax planners. Some of them you could even buy for less than 20 pounds if you're in the United Kingdom. 
and you know if you want to upgrade to a personal size you can use this or any color you want but this size this is a personal size Pilofax soft domino and if you are the personal planner type you can have these personal moldings so I mean if you want a com more compact one you can use this this is a more compact Pilofax you cannot really shut this one if it's too thick but if you're you like a compact planner this is what you can go for uh, Philofax Lockwood I'm not sure if they even sell this on the website probably in eBay or maybe Amazon I'm not sure but I only found this accidentally in TK Maxx so this is a more compact one if you like a compact kind of planning luxury planning you can use this it's genuine leather Lockwood Personal Organizer Deluxe Leather. I mean, it says Deluxe Leather. This is, um, it says, let me see. I'll show you what it says. This one says Malden Personal Organizer Antique Leather. The Buffalo Leather type. So, there you have it, my friends. I am so sorry for not giving you any videos for a long time. I can't re really remember how long ago it was, but here I am. I'm sort of back. And I hope this is helpful for you if you're starting to plan or you are thinking about starting planning or buying planners. These are some of my planners that I love using and it, they work for me. So anyway, I hope this helps. Put a comment in the comment section and tell us what you think. And, you know, let's go from there. Anyway, this is Shirley Joss signing off.